What's up, Buttercups? It's Friday, so this is a real talk video with me, Amy Young, life coach, video blogger, female fun empowerment master. Um, I wanted to sit down today and have a conversation with you about fear and about your relationship with fear and what that relationship is looking like these days and how ugly and unhappy and unhealthy is your relationship with your own fears. And I got started thinking about this because um, I think we all carry around this idea or this assumption that there are people out there who just aren't fearful. Like they're not afraid of anything. They're fearless. They're brave. They, they don't care what anybody else thinks. They don't have issues in the way that we do. Like there's something about them. Like I keep thinking of like Beyonce, you know, like Beyonce, Beyonce doesn't feel fear. Beyonce's perfect. She just, she fucking like, what about her? What would she be afraid of? She does everything. Um, and I want to call bullshit on that belief because Beyonce feels fear. I feel fear on a daily basis. I do shit that scares me. Uh, I move in the, what the fuck? I move in the direction of fear. I didn't realize I was one of those people until very recently. And it was actually, I had a conversation with my coach because I work with a coach because coaching is fucking magical and powerful and I think everyone should have a coach. Um, why would I want to miss out on that magic and power? And she was like, well, you really, you do shit that scares you. Like you take these big risks. You're like a bold person. You're fearless. You're brave. And I was like, I'm not though. Like I'm afraid. Like I have things I'm afraid of. And I realized something snapped and was like, wait a second. The key is not to get to a point where you don't experience fear anymore, because I don't think that that place exists. The key is to get to a place where you have a comfortable understanding relationship with fear, because it's never going to go away. Fear is always going to be present on some level if you're moving in the direction of a goal or wanting to expand something in my hair you're wanting to expand something in some way, fear is always gonna be present. The question becomes, how do you treat fear? Do you treat fear like it's a roadblock? Or do you treat fear like it's a speed bump? Like is fear something that you understand, ooh, I just have to go through this sometimes? Or when fear shows up, do you shut down? Good things to notice about ourselves. Because our relationship with fear will dictate a lot of how much we allow ourselves to show up in our lives and be the people that we want to be and do the things that we really want to do. Because fear, fear is just a primal biochemical response to a perceived threat on our safety. And I'm not talking about the kind of fear that's like, oh, don't, you know, I don't think I should walk down that alleyway at two o'clock in the morning, because that's good fear, right? That's like fear that is serving me. I'm going to listen to that fear. But fear that's telling me, no, Amy, uh, you shouldn't do stand-up comedy because what if nobody laughs? You shouldn't um, ask that guy out on a date because uh, what if he says no? That kind of fear, that's a perceived threat. That's not real danger. And if I treat fear like a roadblock at that point, then I don't get to actually have that experience. And I don't get to see what happens. And I don't get to grow as a result. And I don't get to be rejected or have people not laugh at me and learn that, hey, life goes on and it's okay. I think it's really important that we examine and question our relationship with our personal fears, because we all fucking have them, and we stop being afraid of fear. We start making friends with it and trying to understand where it's coming from because fear's sole intention is to protect us. It's like a, it's like an overprotective mom on the first day of kindergarten, you know, when she takes her kid to the classroom and she's like, I just, I don't know. What if he doesn't make friends? What if he doesn't like it? What if he needs me in the middle of the day? What if he pees his pants? What if there's all these things that are brewing? Meanwhile, the kid's like doing okay. He's having a good time. And, and, and the overprotective mom, it's, it's well-meaning, but she doesn't have to worry. It's going to be okay. That's like our fears that keep us from doing things we want to do. 
And it isn't until, the, you know, the five-year-old eventually, like, turns to the mom and is like, Mommy, it's okay. You go now. <laughs> you know, like, you don't have to be afraid. Like, the kid's having a good enough time to be able to be like, Mom, it's all right. Get out of here. That fear calms down. Mom calms down. Mom can leave. The kid gets to do what it wants to do. That's how fear functions in most of us. Fear shows up and is like, I'm just not sure. I don't know if that's a good idea. Think about it. Like, you might get hurt. People might not like you. You might not succeed. You're not very good at that. Think about what happened last time. Fear is trying so hard to protect us and keep us safe. And it's our job to recognize it and say, oh, Fear, you mean so well, thank you, but I, I have to keep doing this anyway. So if you could just pipe down for a little bit so I can keep doing what I'm doing and living my badass life that I wanna live, that would be great. Does that make sense? I mean, there's a million ways in which all of us might have fear show up in our lives and it's gonna be different for each and every one of us, but I want you to start noticing when fear arises and pay attention to what your reaction to it is. Because if your reaction is like, oh God, it's fear, I have to get the fuck out of here, I can't deal with this, well then you're gonna have a hard time navigating it. But if we come to recognize fear, like I said, as like a speed bump, as like a well-meaning, hey, like, I'm worried, slow down, let's think about this, we recognize it as like this this ultimately well-meaning uh, feeling and thought process for us, then it's a lot easier to be friends with it. And it's a lot easier to not let it run the show so much. Because what we resist persists. I didn't invent that. Some really smart fucking person said that. And if you're resisting fear, if you hate fear, if you don't want to be afraid, you're going to struggle. If you can be friends with fear, if you can hang out in it, if you can recognize it for what it is, you're going to have a much better time. And that's my spiel for today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I don't know how regularly I'm gonna be posting on Fridays. I wanted to do like a weekly thing and then I just, gonna be totally honest, I have a lot on my fucking plate. So this needs to take a priority. I want this to take a priority. Thank you for your patience. If I'm not uploading every Friday, it doesn't mean that I don't love you and wanna connect with you all the time. I wanna love you and connect with you all the time. But, um, but yeah. I wanted to get this out today because I think it's on an important topic and I see all of us dealing with it. So, um, yeah, feel your fear, make friends with it, question it, love it, recognize it as a good thing, and don't let it deter you from doing things that you really want to be doing because you deserve to move in the direction of your dreams, whatever that dream is. Um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, if you want to see me on Monday for Mantra Monday, don't want to miss it, definitely click subscribe. Um, and I can't wait to see you next time. Connect and see what we're talking about then. Have a great weekend. I'll see ya.